there's going to be four primary blades that we're probably going to use in the show cattle industry, okay? And if people have, I think they have to have two, but I think when you talk about rounding yourself out, you have to have four, okay? The first one that you're going to have to have is going to be a blocking blade or a super blocking blade, this kind of setup. And the way that's going to be is when you're talking about a blocking blade, what you're talking about is a tip-to-tip -tip setup. That means the top blade and the bottom blade come together. Now the difference in, in say the Andes blades, the difference between a blocking blade and a super blocking blade is, is nothing more than the tip radius or the, the point of the tip. And I'm just saying is the standard blocking blade is going to be kind of like pushing a, a pin, you know, when you look at the, the point on the bottom blade would be kind of like this, the point of a pin, you know what I mean? The super blocking is going to be more pointed and it's, you know, it's going to be more sharper at the end. Um, you know, it's going to be a little more aggressive. And I'm just saying is, so the super blocking is the one I like. Why do I like it? Well, it's, it's the most aggressive. It feeds hair in there the fastest. It probably leaves uh, the most uh, edge on the hair when you're talking about actually doing that. The blocking and super blocking blades are going to be used for shaping, tipping, sculpturing, topping the hair, glue, paint, show day preparation, all these is what the blocking or super blocking blade is going to be used for. Anything that it touches, and I'm just saying is, anything that this uh, blade touches, it's going to cut. So I'm just saying is when we're cutting hair, you know, and they, a lot of times don't underestimate these, these blades because these things will cut as fast as your hand will move. That's what I'm saying is, so these are, these are mainly for freehand clipping. They're mainly done with, uh, uh, you know, when you're trying to sculpture and shape the cat, okay? All right, so that's one blade that you need. The next blade that you're going to want is what they call the medium blending. And this blade here, instead of it being a point-to-point -point setup, it is recessed back. So the top blade and the bottom, the top blade and the bottom blade, but the top blade is recessed back, okay? This blade, I would not do this, but with this running, this is the safest, most all-purpose blade there is, okay? I wouldn't do that with that super blocking, but with this running, it will not cut me, okay? So, um, that hair has to get back in there to a certain point for it to cut. Now, what do we use this blade for? Back dragging, raking, uh, uh, back dragging, raking, fading, um, blending, these are the things that we're going to use this blade for. When we talk about multiple species, okay, we will use a super blocking blade a lot of times for clipping in sheep legs and shaping that wool because it is dense, it is thick. We use the little clippers to blend in the, the lamb legs a lot, whether it's front or back, okay. On this blade here, on the medium blade, that's what we're going to use on the cattle. I'm just going to kind of show where we're going to use it at. Uh, you could shave the head with this. We're going to blend down through the front. This is what you'd want to clip the tail with because it won't skin it. But this might be where you're going to want to clip the sheath off or the navel off because it's not going to cut them, okay? In the lambs, a lot of times this is what we like to use on their heads because it leaves their, that black black. It doesn't take it too short, and it leaves some stubble, and it leaves that black finish where if you take a, a surgical blade and run up in there, you're going to knock all that black off and it's going to make them look bad. So this keeps the black on them. It gets it short. Um, you know, a lot of times this is what we're going to do all their face with. The other thing is a lot of times we're going to do up in between their back legs. A lot of times that's a hard area to get. So we're going to use this uh, medium blending and clean all that out in, in between their back legs when we're, you know, slick shearing them and getting all that shortened up. And this is a place that makes it easy to get in there and it kind of does a nice job of it. Okay, so uh, in the cattle wise, like I said, we, there's multiple uses with this. Primarily, we're going to use it for back dragging and raking. And it's just like when we get into here and we're trying to get this where, you know, we want this to blend off. Here's, and, and I'm going to be right up against the skin. Here's where we can take this. You know, and I'm just saying that this is where we can take this and we can just clean up all the way down through the front.
And this is just one, one way that we can do this. And when we do this, you know, we don't have any distinct lines on them. And to me, clipping is easy. The hard part to clipping and making it look good is we got to get this all blended in with no lines. We want this to just kind of fade out to where it's nice. It's got a smooth look. And what I'm saying is we can clean all that up and uh, you know, it makes it look good. So this is a big, big tool for that. So the next blade that I'm going to be using is a, is a T84. If you'll notice, it's shaped like a T. There's going to be a lot of times that you're going to encounter during the summer. It might be an Angus heifer. It might be something that's short-haired, but we're going to be clipping on, on them. We're going to be back dragging with that medium. And there's going to be times like it's getting some, but it's almost like we're combing the hair with the end of the blade. It's not doing nothing. We'd like to go just a notch shorter. And I'm just saying is here, the other thing is, is sometimes on this uh, medium blending, it's going to leave a few what we call chop lines in the hair. So it's nice to have something that we can just run over it and smooth it up. To me, I look at this T84 as being, it can go, it's going to go just a fraction shorter when you're back dragging. And it's also going to get those lines out. A perfect example would be is if we did this calf's head with the medium blending, it is going to leave lines in the face. If we go over it with the T84, it's barely going to take them out, but it's going to smooth them up. Shorter, okay. I mean, here's what I'm going to do is here. Uh, you're going to see how much, you know, just a little bit's coming off here as you see me doing this. But what this is going to do is it's going to smooth this up a lot of times down through the front. This blade should last forever because, you know, all we're doing is doing some light smoothing up, taking those chop lines out. Maybe we want it to go a little bit shorter. And this lets us do that. Okay. All right. So. The other one that I'm going to talk about is the HT58. This is going to be one of the only blades that we're going to use of the narrow blade series. It also is offered in a three quarter. And this blade is going to be awesome for those kids or families or cattle that when they're during the summer or fall or any time that they encounter that hair that what we say is this long and it has no undercoat to it, and it's stuck to their skin. That's the worst kind of situation to try to work through because it's stuck to them. A lot of times you can try to brush it up and try to comb it up and maybe top it off, and it's pretty easy to get too deep because it's in there real tight. What we're going to do with this blade here is go up against the grain. The stiffer the hair, the better this blade works. The less undercoat it has in it, the better it works. So. This blade is not going to be a good option if you got a bunch of down undercoat in there. This is for that hair that's what I call that I don't know what to do with hair. That's the perfect scenario for this blade right here. And to me, a lot of times people in this situation will, there's been certain people that will shave the neck 30 days out, let it regrow out, then they can kind of blend all this together. I mean, there is that. That theory. This is going to kind of give you that 30 day regrowth right then and there. This is 5 eighths and it's going to leave the hair 5 eighths inches long. And when you have that little bit of length, like I said, clipping is easy. Blending is the hard part to clipping because we're fading to long to short, short to long. And if you've got something to kind of get into or, or go to, that makes blending a lot easier. So I'm just saying that when we do this here, you notice that I can take this and I'm going to go up. I'm right up, up against the skin. And just kind of a before and after what you're getting here. But here's where you got this. You can see what I've done there. And what I'm saying is that you'll notice here that it didn't skin it. It didn't peel it. And then all I got to do is blend that into it. And, and you know, where we do this at, whether it's, you know, there's some of these Angus heifers in the summer that, you know, they've got this kind of wiry stuff on their shoulders and, and neck and you, you're trying to figure out what to do. I mean, those, those people are, to me, what we're going to do on them is literally go right here like so and just 
get rid of all that. You know what I mean? And then we can blend into it. So I mean, that's a that's years ago we used to take one of them scrub brushes and literally trying to brush it up and clip it off before it fall down. You know what I mean? That was like hard to do. Here we can run this on there, and I'm just saying is it does it so much smoother, and it does it so much faster and so much easier and looks so much better than having to do all that by freehand. So. Those four blades, you know, are going to make a make a big difference in, in the kinds of hair that you got. You're not going to use like this blade here. There's going to be a lot, you know, you're not going to use it on every one. I'm going to say this. You're going to probably use a medium blending in the super blocking or blocking on every calf. And if you need to have a little bit shorter back dragging depth, then you're going to want the T84. And if you're going to encounter those unusual situations that you don't know what to do with because of the time of year, the breed of cattle, or the kind of hair that it has, then you're gonna to have to have this uh, HT 58s With those four blades, I'm telling you, you can conquer a lot, of, a lot of issues, a lot of problems, make your calf look good, and you're gonna do it pretty good and pretty easy and pretty fast, and, and you know, it's gonna just make it look a lot better. So, you know, bottom line is, um, you know, this is easy to do now, a lot easier to do, and you know, it makes our animals look better and hopefully us, it's going to make them more competitive, you know what I mean, as an exhibitor and as a family. So.